Hey there YouTube, this is Leap Master and today I'll be showing you my custom GM3. As you can see, this is him. And uh, I did him up in the uh, Titans color schemes, in case you can't tell, the dark blue. And it's supposed to be a darker dark blue, but I chose black instead because I couldn't find a darker dark blue. Sue me. And red and yellow. Here's a picture of the original color scheme, so drastic difference. And I like the way it turned out. Now for the colors I used, I used, uh, let me see what the colors. Oh yeah. Flat black. It was actually this stuff. Color place. It's pretty good. It's cheap as all hell, so that's why I chose it. Krylon sun yellow. Krylon, uh, red. No, that's, that's not Krylon. That's just, uh, same place, color place, fire red. Color place, uh, like dark navy blue, color place, flat black, and <clears throat> I used some Tamiya gunmetal on the knees, on the antenna, Vulcans, various places, <clears throat> and uh, I used Tamiya silver and clear yellow on those vents, on the sides of the feet vents, and Tamiya silver with clear red for the back right there the boosters on the th feet that's uh, Krylon Brilliant aluminum for the thrusters with red on the inside silver uh, Atomia with clear Atomia it's uh... it's all good now then as you can see he is in his uh... <laughs> Titans color scheme I even painted the uh... green with a Tamiya silver with clear green over the top there and in the back of the head. I stuck with a uh, traditional Titans color scheme with yellow, black, and blue being the main with a wee bit of red. <clears throat> so it has all the same articulation. There's nothing been changed, really. I left the uh, gray parts unpainted just so that it moves smoother and because I didn't really see much of a point. They were going to be gray anyway. And I couldn't find the right shade of gray for it, so I just left them as is. Now then the whole kit's been painted, other than the gray parts, like I said. So here he is. And also, I did the shield. I was planning on making that little window right there red, but uh, I just didn't do it. Very simple, that was quick. His missile pods right here. I did them up with black base with a red tip and even the uh, clothes parts are cut painted for some reason his uh, s skirt missile pieces right here blue with gunmetal on the inside and red caps the only downside is that the red caps do leave like little paint blemish right there because of you putting them on and on doesn't matter though I'm probably never gonna use these I just painted them up because I could I painted up each of the back, each of the hand covers for each hand. There you go. And I painted up the beam rifle with uh, flat black for the base body and navy blue for the handle and the barrel. It's really not bad. I should have done clear, the clear green thing like I did with all the others on the scope. I'll probably do it later, but I just left it as is. And I like how it turned out. It's actually not that bad, in my opinion. I have pictures on my Flickr account, so check that out if you want to see more detailed look at this guy. But yeah, all of his main, all of his articulation remains, even the very limited articulation in his legs. If you want to know what I'm talking about, go watch my review of the GM3. And now that he's been painted, that problem with the ball joint in the in the waist has been fixed. Whoops. That was a beam saber. One of its beam sabers. I'm just putting the shield on there. Let me see if I can't find... Uh... Nope. Nope. It's rolled under the desk. No, I'm not getting that back anytime soon. Well, while I'm talking about beam sabers, I've also painted the beam sabers. And these ones actually gave me quite a bit of trouble just because they peg in really tightly. So I was worried they'd do some damage to the paint. 
either on themselves or on the pegs and so far nothing really has showed up so the clear Tamiya paint that I've been using seems to be working its magic but yeah he can still hold his beam sabers I'm just never pushing them past that because that gets really tight after that and I'm gonna be stripping paint off at that point unless I take the hand apart and then put it back in but nah I don't really pose him with the beam saber anyway I've noticed that I really don't pose my kids with the beam sabers as much as I like to think. But yeah, that's my uh, Gem 3. Let me put on his missile racks. His Macross missile spam. Show you what that looks like. And they still fit on and come back out. No problems. I just have to be more careful than usual. Or they might strip the paint on the shoulder. Even though I've clear coated it, I'm always really, really careful with my kits. After I've painted them because clear coat helps to keep it from getting scratched and damaged most of the time but if you keep moving it around that clear coat's going to wear off eventually but yeah that's my gym 3 i hope you like it i do check out my Flickr account to see more pictures of it and uh this was elite master with this was Leap Master with the look at the Gem 3 Titans colors. Which I think actually fits because it's from Double Zeta, I think. So, Arc 78 for no real reason. Huh. Wait a second. I did not notice that the Gem 3 was kind of tall. It was a bit taller than the Arc 78. Just a wee bit. But he is taller. But yeah, that's it. See you later.